Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's well, good? This is another one that's been put on the back burner for a little bit, but for those that have been around the channel for quite some time, you guys know how much I love this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan unit. It's, it's probably one of my favorites uh, units in the game, and it's a fantastic supporting unit. also does have the capabilities of performing some pretty good damage dealt. So, this is going to be on the Goku's Family category and just see how this unit does, being really the central focus versus being used as a supporter in some of the other showcases that you have seen. So this guy is going to be in the limelight, pretty much the main featured unit, and we'll do a showcase with him and see how he does. So, as always, let's cover the stats and we'll go from there. Again, this is the Vanguard Warriors True Value Super Physical Type Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan unit. Leader skills, all types, key plus 3, HP attack, increase of 40%. The super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy. The passive skill is also pretty good. Um, it's actually amazing, but you know, you've seen a lot of newer units have better uh, passive skills as support, but it's still a pretty good one nevertheless. All allies attack and defense increase of 35%. Uh, in terms of links, what I love about this unit is it's, it's a really common Super Saiyan link set. So you've got Golden Warrior plus one key, enemies defense minus 2000, Saiyan Warrior rates of 700 to attack, Super Saiyan 10% increase to attack. Uh, Z Fighters is attack increase of 15%, shocking speed is plus two key, Kamehameha is 2500 when SA is launched, shattering the limit is plus two key. A pretty good set of categories as well, Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, and also Siblings Pond. Um, siblings Bond is only available in Global as of right now. Uh, eventually we will get also the LR uh, Family Kamehameha, Kamehameha units in uh, JP as well. I'm just not sure when exactly. Uh, for the 100% potential uh, stats, you're looking at HP of 14,145. Attack is 13,426. Defense is 8,885. 12 multiplier is 145%. Again, the super attack ability does have greatly raised attack for one turn, along with the ability for supreme damage. So, um, probably the best way to go about it in the potential system, um, I'm sure a lot of you probably have maxed this unit out, but for those thinking about it, you can probably go, personally I went with 1115, so 11 additional attack and 15 for criticals. Uh, you could certainly go level 14 additional attack and level 12 critical since, again, he does have the ability to greatly raise attack for the super attack. However, level 11 uh, provides enough frequencies of having the additional super, um, as you'll see in the video, where I, I think it's okay to focus a little bit more on the critical side. So that's personally my opinion, but that's the beauty of potential, you know, the, the potential system is you can essentially uh, build a unit the way you really want to. So that's pretty much my recommendation on that. Uh, other than that, I mean, it is uh, a, a very good support unit. Uh, pretty much you're not going to run into any real uh, linking issues with any type of, you know, Super Saiyan units. Uh, the link set also includes uh, link skills like Shocking Speed and shatter Shattering the Limit. So that is a total of four key uh, between the two links. So a lot of a lot of good sets, honestly. Um, you know, I, I can certainly be a little bit biased because I love this unit so much. Um, ever since the um, Dokkan Awakening was announced on September of 2017, this guy was greatly improved. I mean, it, it, that is actually an understatement of how much of an improvement this unit got. Um, if I'm looking at it before, you were looking at. Uh, previously, there was nothing else besides Supreme Damage for the Super Attack. Passive Skill was pretty much a flat increase of 2,000 to attack for uh, all allies when key is 5 or more. So, you're talking about essentially, uh, you know, the ability to greatly raise attack for one turn for the Super Attack, and then a no restrictive uh, passive, you know, skill of all allies getting a 35% for both attack and defense. And, what you got to understand about this passive skill is very few units at the time actually had such a big boost. 35% is, is, uh, was like a phenomenal amount. Now it still is to a certain degree, but you certainly have other units introduced in the game that provide a 40% increase. So uh, things are a little bit different now than they were, but this unit, as you'll see in the video, um, is, is, is a pretty good overall unit. Um, 
And you can certainly run him a lot. I mean, he's not going to have the best of defense. I mean, if you look at it, it's it's on average, you know, uh, rounded up, it's 9,000 total in defense. So it might be a little bit less than some of the other units might be. But you are, you know, you are compensating with that uh, defense increase of 35%. And the uh, ability to greatly raise attack for one turn um, makes a pretty decent difference. I mean, that's an equivalent... Uh, I can't remember exactly what that was. Greatly raise attack, um, like 50%, I think, is what the equivalent was. But um, you'll see, you know, you'll see a kick in here, here and there. So, like right now, additional attack kicked in for about 1.4 million. So, yeah, I mean, you can get a stats up there a lot. And and fortunately, with the introduction of newer categories that he applies on, like Goku's family. You get that full, you know, 170% boost versus 130% uh, uh, for attack like the Hybrid Saiyans uh, category is. I mean, the other categories he falls into is, you know, Majin Buu Saga and Hybrid Saiyans. We're going to exclude Siblings Bond for now because it's a, it's a global exclusive, but besides the Goku's Family category, the other two really are only 120% boost, uh, you know what I mean? So, you don't get, you never get that level this type of level um you were never you were basically never able to get this level before the introduction of goku's family category so it's, it's been nice um again i mostly use this unit uh whenever i do a lot of testing with different types of units and um because he's such a great uh linking uh unit for a lot of a lot of different cards and also that passive provides a pretty big boost overall it's just such a good unit to, to have on rotation as, as a supporting type. But at the same time, um, along with the fact that there were a couple of people that have requested an updated showcase of this, um, it's, it's good to be able to show how hard this unit can actually hit um, as a supporter because essentially, I mean, you have to classify this unit as a support unit. Um, even though the Greatly Raids attack really... Um, you know, offsets that classification in a way. Um, I think it's okay to classify him as a support unit. So the fact that you can get the attack stats up to about 1.4 million, depending on additional super or not, and as a support unit, that's that's pretty good. I mean, very few units could probably achieve that. Now you have units like the the EZA uh, Rage Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. You've got other units like Turles. Even though I don't really like classifying him as as a support unit, but in, in this in this uh, conversation, we will. Um, you've got other units that can, but this this guy is definitely in the realm of, of pretty good um, support units that also have the capability to, to hit for a pretty decent amount. So that's probably the takeaway with that. Again, I'm a little bit biased because I love this unit so much. Um, uh, you know, like it's one of those units when you when you found out the news about the uh, Dokkan Awaken, um, genuinely was really excited about you know what i mean so i could i could certainly be biased um, i'm not gonna lie but i hope uh this video serves as kind of a way to show you guys you know how good this unit can actually be at 100 percent potential obviously but i think honestly it's well worth the orbs um i have zero regrets i've had this guy rainbowed for a very long time and never regretted it once honestly so it's, it's, you know, I, I try to provide a non-biased opinion as much as possible when it comes to showcases, but in this case, um, you know, I'm, I'm certainly going to be biased, so I will go ahead and say that it's, it's, it's damn well worth all the orbs, and um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the way to, to take away from it, I guess. Um, the other, you know, tech, uh, Super Saiyan 2 uh, Gohan unit that you see on the third slot, it's also pretty good. Um, you could certainly classify him as a support in a way. 30% um, to, what was it, agility, tech, and physical types. Um, and then um, the good thing about this unit is massively raises attack, I think, for one turn is, is the uh, super attack ability. So uh, it's certainly greater than Gohan's ability, but the physical one I'm talking about. But, you know, both units are pretty good. Um, they're pretty solid. I, I think the only thing about the tech version is it can be somewhat of a defensive liability at times so uh, you do have to be a little bit worried about the placement of, of the uh, the unit and the slots and the rotation so that's probably a summary of it but again this is the 100 percent potential showcase of the super saiyan 2 teen gohan the super physical type great support overall pretty balanced character um, I, I actually love running this unit a lot so 
Just wanted to make a, a main featured showcase for this guy, updated version, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.